So, I mean, when you look at some of the large transformation programs we, are, we have been building with our clients and planning with our clients, what we see is that the economic uncertainty makes clients delay some of this decision making by two months, three months, four months. And of course, it's not all clients, but we see some clients basically moving a bit into this wait and see attitude until they feel a bit more certainty about the economic cycle and about basically the restart, the restart or the, 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 the end of this inflation interest rate cycle, which is really what's bringing a lot of uncertainty for them. So they don't like to start very large programs in the middle you know, of this economic uncertainty. But again, it's not all clients. We have a number of clients in sectors like automotive or aerospace where we see some of these large programs continuing. And we start to see a bit of difference between Europe and the US from a market perspective, a bit more, you know, reactivity in the US to look at some cost cutting and consolidation versus Europe. But we also expect the US will restart as well at a faster pace than Europe when the economic cycle or uncertainty basically changes. Yeah, it's so interesting. When you and I spoke in Davos, I asked you about the sector breakdown and I thought back then it was quite interesting. You were saying that manufacturing actually has holding up well because there is an understanding that they need to make that push towards a digital. But the sectors that you said were lagging before were retail, financial services, banking. How does that look three months forward? So for retail, it remains a bit, a bit weaker. Again, I think the discount segment is pretty strong. The luxury segment is pretty strong. I think in the middle, this is where you have a bigger heavy weights where you see a bit more, uh, you know, slow down and cost cutting attitude. You know, on the um, tech sector is definitely affected and we have seen a slowdown. On financial services, I actually held stronger than what we expected you know, in the, in the first quarter, but we definitely just see the slowdown coming. There has been a, a big attention towards cost consolidation, etc. So we'll see probably quite a bit of slowdown in the next couple of quarters in financial services before seeing basically growth coming back through some of the consolidation that we expect to win. So there's a there's a bit of down cycle for a couple of quarters in financial services, driven primarily uh, by banking in North America and UK. Um, Eman, good morning. That was precisely what I was going to ask you about North America and what you're seeing in financial services, given that seems to be one of the key sectors that has trailed in the quarter. What are you seeing mm -hmm. from TMT companies? Um, we're all quite curious what's happening at the tech giants. So tech and telco are definitely uh, un under pressure. So, you know, uh, you have seen the tech firms that have been cutting headcounts and, and laying off and basically cutting costs in the beginning of the year. So, of course, they're also slowing down some of the projects we are doing from them. Again, we we'll expect to rebound at some time, you know, in two quarters, maybe, or three quarters there. Telco is also, uh, it has been under pressure in Europe. We start to see pressure coming in North America on the, on the telco sector. Uh, which, which is interesting. Manufacturing on the other side and the public sector are holding up pretty well and showing quite, quite a strong resilience.